This lady has a young lady with recurrent uh, two episodes of pancreatitis post coli. Uh, most of these patients uh, will have chronic pancreatitis. We published a series, I think in 1998 or something, in giant endoscopy, looking at the yield of EUS after a first or recurrent episodes of pancreatitis. And in the post coli patients, uh, most of them just had signs of chronic pancreatitis. So they sent you a tube dans la bouche. Respirez bien. Voilà. Okay, I'll call. Tip down a bit and just watch that tell the vine spur. Okay. Okay, punch the tell the lava. I believe it's cool. Okay, I see the dormio met now, si possible. Okay, so in we go. There's her liver. Okay, so following the portal vein right here. One hand on the scope, so you can do all the torquing with one hand. You can see all the way in this patient, you can see her PD going, this is the genu, going down towards the papilla. And we have imaging right down to the duodenal wall, pretty much, of her bile duct here, right here, which looks totally normal, okay. Right here. Okay, and we're almost, and see the pancreatic duct is coming to join it. Uh, it's a little phasey, but you can see going here to the same place, so no divisum, because the PD is going from the papilla back out of the ventral pancreas into the dorsal. You can also see Santorini up here going to the minor. So we've basically finished the whole exam here, all from the stomach, okay? Because you can actually see, I believe, some of the duodenum here. This is basically right at the duodenal wall. And it looks, there's a nice view of the PD as well. A little hyperechoic, so she might have some early chronic pan, but nothing major. And there's a really nice view of Santorini as well. Okay, so right there is where the main duct and Santorini coming off going up to the minor. Okay, we're gonna go out to the tail now. Just tracing out the duct out to the tail. Kidney, uh, kidney below, really nice anatomy. All the way to the spleen, totally normal. So she doesn't really have enough criteria for chronic pan, if you ask me. You know, you don't wanna overcall it. She doesn't have lobulation really, just basically maybe a few foci Hyperchoic irregular margins, that's three criteria. And three criteria is completely nonspecific, so you don't, you don't want to call that chronic pancreatitis. Okay, into the bulb. Just avance, just in spur. Okay, get into the apex here, right there. Tip up and left, so we get the portal vein. You want to get deep in the hilum, right here. And then once you're deep in the hilum, you look next to the portal vein, torque right, and then you'll see a nice view of the bile duct coming down to the papilla. It's unusual to get such a nice long view of the bile duct with the linear scope. Okay, but we are. Yeah, yeah. And then underneath, be good to look at her papilla, although I, I'm sure it's going to be normal. And there it is. There's a nice view of her papilla endoscopically. Take that for posterity, okay. So underneath D2, tip max up, coming back. Okay, and you can look, if you torque a little bit more left, you'll eventually see the aorta right there. When you see the aorta like this, the papilla is about two centimeters away, so just coming back. And right there, you can see the ducts, bile duct and PD going towards the papilla, which is probably this thing right here. Oh. No, and that's just the confluence. I thought that was a cyst. Okay. You notice we don't use a lot of Doppler. As I say, if you, if you need Doppler to decide that that's a vessel, you need more training. Because you can see the grayscale Doppler. You can see the blood moving in it. And that's exactly where the confluence is. Just like if you need Doppler to, to identify the aorta, you need more training. Okay, sorry to say, but you need more training. Okay, so we're coming back across the genu, 
Biodec and PD there. So the PD will go over the Genu, and the Biodec will come back like this, and then it'll go into the screen up into the liver. But we get a beautiful long view of the bile duct. Okay, there's the cystic duct coming off the bile duct. Okay, then we head into the liver. See the squiggly cystic duct here? And it should stop at some clips. And then the bile duct will, will eventually come into cross section, right this and go, and then we're into the liver, see? So that's it, essentially normal, three criteria. You know, I suspect she probably has some kind of intrinsic pancreatic disease. But given the available data, three criteria is not enough to call chronic pants.